Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace, and I'm on my way to the huge Dollar Tree store in Texas. And yeah, there are those that are bigger than this one in other states, but I don't live there. <laughs> but I'm not going to one. I'm going to this one. And the inside is really interesting. It's the, uh, it's shaped like a tree. The aisles, <laughs> the aisles, I mean, are shaped like a tree. At least that's how I see it. I don't know, I've never gotten an aerial of it. <laughs> whatever it's called. But yeah, when I'm walking, I'm saying, this is shaped like a tree. Anyway, um, but I'm gonna go there, and I have a reason for it. I'm, I'm just going through, I guess it's gonna be something something similar to a life update. But maybe some of you go, what? Really? <laughs> some of it. But uh, I don't know if I mentioned it on this channel. This channel, I've had uh, start. It was my first YouTube channel. Hopefully, I put it on that channel on my first YouTube channel. But August the 21st was uh, nine years. That uh, that nine years. When I started making videos on it. I was on YouTube before then, but I wasn't making any videos. And uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I did make a video. I put it up there about the. Um, anniversary. I have other channels that I've used over these years. And, uh, but recently, uh, Life Update came to me. I have, it's a long story and I'm going to try to make it really brief because I'm leaving out a lot of details. So, uh, yeah, just know that I know more than what I'm going to say about all this. But basically, I had wound up in the hospital ER three times, uh, twice in May, once in June, I mainly heard from these so-called healthcare professionals or providers. I'm not just calling it healthcare when they won't tell you anything because you don't have insurance. Okay, <laughs> seriously. Let me tell you I'm in Texas and I'm a housewife. I'm not a housewife, I'm a house, a homemaker. Yeah, 60 years old. And, uh, but apparently in order to get, and I'm doing air quotes, affordable healthcare, a homemaker like myself, I mean, I could be wrong, but this is what I'm going through. And I have multiple, multiple calls and multiple people telling me various parts of it here, the, there, that through the appropriate channels, not channels, but through the appropriate ones, you know, to get this insurance, um, I have to show that I'm working and I am earning a certain amount. Okay. It's not about the money. It's about that I'm actually earning actually getting a check, actually making some money, <laughs> then, and only then, could I get anything affordable. Okay, I don't know who's supposed to be going here, and nobody was moving at all, and I just did that. <laughs> I don't know, I have a joke about this. So many people we've seen, and so many times, we have actually done it ourselves, is to hit that, and I, I did it. So, that's why I laughed. Because, yeah, that's that's our little thing about it. we're sitting there and we look over and somebody's going to hit it. This time it was me. But anyway, that curb, we don't know why. It's just that curb. I don't see anybody else do it anywhere else. I don't do it anywhere else. He doesn't do it anywhere else. You know, it's funny. But anyway, so I take credit for it, <laughs> for doing wrong. But anyway, um, so in order to get this health care, you know, through the mar marketplace, this is, like I said, it could be different where you live. I'm finding that out, but apparently it's a big secret. But here, I mean, 
it won't say. But uh, here in Texas, I had to, I had to go find a job and say state how much I think I would make. Okay, so, and they told me that if you don't make this amount of money, X amount of money, within that year, that calendar year, then you're you're not eligible at all for it. Okay. So when I called, it was July, and uh, they told me, you know, that I had made X amount of money, and I said, okay, then that's what I should put there because I only have from the end of July to the end of the year to make that amount of money, and I don't know how I'm going to do that. I mean, I do know what, what I would be able to do, okay, but <laughs> because, of my, because of my health, and they're not going to get no... And whatever they did this time to the uh, Medicaid, I was never on disability, never on Medicaid, any of that kind of stuff. And uh, apparently it's like even worse, more difficult from what I'm hear hearing from people who work in healthcare, various kinds of things. But they would probably not allow me, okay. Uh, plus, something about my, somebody else said it used to make videos, or don't, maybe still does, but not, not often, but, uh, said that they would make you sell your, because she lives in Texas too, that, uh, they would make me sell my autos, and my, they'll only have a certain amount, and I, and I asked some people, you know, in my bank account, and I asked some people in, that, that are in this, in, not in that, you know, but in the business, and they said basically, yes, it would disqualify you. The, the amount that they're worth would disqualify me from getting Medicaid. It's such a mess. I mean, I don't even know. I'm not saying don't listen to me. I don't know for certain. Uh, but it, I was told by more than one person, and they're in this that field. So who are you going to trust, right? <laughs> so, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. But in, this is so long. But anyway, the only thing that I could wind up doing after all this... I mean, I, I went through so much, like I said, I'm leaving out some major details, is to try to do things like DoorDash and Uber Eats and Grubhub, you know, the ones that do the food delivery, go to the restaurant, like right over there, up in there, go and bring to somebody's house, you know, and that was the only thing I could do because I have to work as an independent contractor so I can go home because of my health if I needed to, and, you know, you who's going to be able to do that? on regular jobs and I can't sit, can't stand, can't uh, do these things for a long period of times like eight hours straight, no way it, would I be able to, I wanted to test it to see if I could do it like DoorDash and Uber and wrap up these kinds of things and uh, but lo and behold <laughs> we had a heat dome over us, what they sort of call it, heat dome, my man Pete on WFAA said where do they get these terms from, I don't know, something like that. He's the weatherman I really like on WFAA here, local for Dallas, Fort Worth area. We're north in the northern suburb of Dallas, northeast. But anyway, um, so true, we did, we were under this dome, and it's not gone yet. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. It's, we're, we're in a cool down day, is what they're saying. Right now it's 88 degrees and it's 1004. Wow, that's amazing. But we've had temperatures 100 plus. And we broke some records and such, a little high up on some things. It's unbelievable. The, the heat, plus there's a drought, from what I understand. And I mean, it's trying to do DoorDash and that kind of stuff when you places, not many, like apartments have, uh, they don't tend to have uh, elevators. You know, you got three, four, fourth floor. People have to walk up those stairs and... I only did it once. I have a bum knee as it is. But I only did it once because it, it was just the second floor. Just so it's just one stair, you know, one set of stairs. But it was like Adam said. Long story. He 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 was with me, and uh, he said uh, that's against the rules. It's the law in Texas. That's you know, re not regulated like that. It's not supposed to be that. So they probably grandfathered it in. He said probably so. But it it felt like it went straight up, but not it didn't but it felt like it I had a panic attack all halfway up the heat hit me it's wind 
of heat. Oh my goodness, it was something else. And it made me panic because things like the rail all of a sudden on the right side just ended as I was halfway up the steps, the stairs. And it didn't have a landing. And there, that's the regulation or something like that. They have to have, like you can walk six steps and then there's a landing and it turns and you go up six more till you get to that floor. Well, it's not that it was like straight up. <laughs> Just one, did no landing, no turn, nothing straight. It was bad. Luckily, my, my knee made it. My knee, no problem. And I've, and I've done a set of stairs since then. That was the, with the landing. It was a breeze, I'm telling you, a breeze. I'm so happy. But I'm gonna avoid, yeah, avoid steps, stairs. Anyway. Lots of, lots of, I'm, I'm tend to fill in details because the details are really needed. They're needed to tell the story. The devil's in those details. But anyway, these are stories about some devil. No, just some bad crap just kept happening to me. Really, involving the health, involving the, uh, having to find a job to get the health care. You wouldn't believe some of the stories I haven't put on this, this channel. And it's like, really now? Seriously? This this is the kind of things that go that happen to somebody? You know? This should not be the way. I am Texan, born and raised in Texas, and this is not is not how I see Texas. A homemaker, sixty year old homemaker, has to show she's earning outside the home. You know, an actual uh, what is it, W-2 or 1099 uh, at the end of the year so she can get affordable health care. Really? I mean, there are other ways, I'm sure. I think. I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Allegedly. But anyway. So, I, I, I'm, I'm an active person. I don't mind actually going out there doing this stuff. But the heat dome, yeah. And then there was no training for these, no real, real good training. So there were people on YouTube made videos. Those helped a lot, a lot. And it's not their job. It's just that there are other, they call themselves gig tubers, gig, you know, the gig economy kind of thing going on with them. They do all these different ones. And some have to do more than just food delivery and all. But they would make videos, you know, views and made a little extra money there too. Another gig. But um, I appreciate some of what they did. I didn't appreciate when they attacked the customers. Nope. Mm -mm. Don't bite the hand to feed you. And there's a lot more of my beef than that. I mean, don't fight amongst yourselves. It's what they want. <laughs> That's what the sociologists in me are saying. Yeah. We're, we're trained too much to fight amongst ourselves. But anyway, instead of dealing with the real problem, like this. Okay, so all that, and then I found out, oh my goodness, my insurance, they don't, I did not know, it was a long story with that too, that mine wasn't covering that, and I also had called about the other, the other insurance that is for this purpose, that is available, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be there no matter what, uh, if you do these kind of gigs, certain ones, and all that stuff, but I found out, mm, no, I don't know because uh -uh. I was told well, all I can say is I said so what you're really saying is no <laughs> it's not that kinda <laughs> so on the, the quest to get you know one that I don't have to worry about that might be there might not be there that kind of thing um, and did I mention I'm in Texas Oh my goodness! It was unbelievable. It has been. I'm still waiting for for one of them. The the last one I'm holding out hope for. And I've spoken to him. I don't know how many times. <laughs> but actually, it was just of yesterday because there was more to it about some uh, videos that went out not on YouTube that caused a whole lot of people like me problems. And I had to go have my car, my SUV in the shop and had them took it yesterday. It was done. This goes on and on, people. This goes on and on. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. 
and that, that's why I'm, I'm driving my SUV now and it's still doing this weird thing. But they had to update the computer in it. <laughs> really? This is the road, isn't it? They updated the computer and then I said, well, it couldn't be anything else because if they only worked on the computer and, and maybe the AI is learning and now it's making like a little funny putt putt. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff. I'm serious. That I've been going through so I can work, so I can get health insurance and keep the health insurance. It's really good health insurance, by the way. And I've already used it just the other day, but that was, I got it on the 1st and I used it on the 26th or 7th, whenever, whatever day it was, finally. And that was having to go to urgent care. Yes! <laughs> All of this. I had to go to urgent care and they were almost going to hospitalize me. Now just think if I lost that insurance, what would happen then? Oh my. They will let you die. <laughs> that was the mantra. You have health insurance? They will let you die. I heard that from so many people in this, in the, that field. When they gave ER three times, gave me the last time they said, call these people. And I called them and one of them was, one of them as it turned out, I tried four ways and uh, it leads to a Russian website. Really? Seriously? <laughs> anyway, the people I called are kind of against them. Seriously, that hospital, they, they're saying, one of them, one of them said this. But the other one said so, so, so stuff in other ways. It showed how they viewed them. But basically, it's allegedly, uh, that, that the hospital, that hospital, um, has their own donor, don't, you know, people who donate m funds, uh, you know, to help people that don't have insurance, but that they're not using it for some reason. And uh, what they do instead is they don't, they don't, maybe it's their political views, like when I went all three times and they really heard more crickets and uh, jibber jabberish kind of uh, double talk instead of just telling me what's going on with me. And uh, wound up going to one of these places on that thing and that woman, one of them finally told me all about it. And like I said, she, she basically told me that, that what they do is they, these ho that hospital, well, I don't know if she was s specifying that hospital or in general or what, but basically they have their own people who donate for that purpose, but they're not going to use it because then they have to do their job, I guess, is what she meant. So what they do is they don't, and they say, well, you need to go to these places, like they gave me that list of places to call, those kind of places, and go to them and get my health care because that's for people without insurance. Is that really how it's supposed to be? Seriously? Okay, I had to move because the car the car that was in front of me was too close to the line and my SUV was kind of sticking out. Didn't want that. But anyway. Um, where was I? There <laughs> was a woman next to me. I don't know what she was doing, but she finally waved me. Go ahead, she's run by for me to back up. She was looking at me going, are you going to back up or am I going to back up? It was kind of funny. But anyway, um, so where was I in all of this? But the, the, the woman that, um, that was a very strange scene too. But, um, she came outside as I was leaving, as I was backing out, and she's a nurse. And she was one who finally told me what my results mean. Not from them. I brought them a, a copy of the results from the hospital and just dropped it off because I'd already been there one time before. And this was like a month or so ago. And uh, I just came back by to drop him off and in case I ever needed to go there. And uh, more, much more to the story. But she told me, she said, yeah, that, like I said, I don't know what she meant in general around here, what, which one, which hospital, ERs. But that they send them, you know, people that don't have insurance to them when their funds, to use their funds. Yeah, that's how they, that's how she was seeing it apparently. You know how that is when you work in an office, maybe other people, and that's how they all see it. And uh, and she said that these are funds that we get donated by our, you know, people who are donating to us. Not to the hospital, but to us. And they send people to them, like me, um, to get, you know, service. That they're not, they're not ones who say that it's, they're not blaming the patient. They're blaming the appropriate people the hospital. Like, that's like I'm saying, you know, about people who are doing delivery. Don't blame the customer. 
but they don't tip. Tip is, they don't owe you a tip. They don't owe me a tip. Tip is a gratuity. It's not something that you are owed. And that's the only thing I had about some of these geek tubers that they would say when they would blame the, uh, you know, blame the customer for not paying them enough. No, it's these, uh, some of them, not all of them. Some of these, um, I don't even know what you call them collectively, because they're not all the same. But these delivery services or whatever, um, aren't paying enough for base pay. Is what's it called? Base, base pay is pathetic. <laughs> it's very pathetic. One of them, one of them, oh my goodness, oh my. Oh, that's the worst I've ever seen in my life. They used to pay waitresses more than that. Well, not that I know of, they're probably a lot more these days. <laughs> it's like, whoa. But, uh, you know, waitresses, and as far as I remember, I don't know if it's the same today, but they had a, an hourly pay that was real low. And that was like, say, 20 years ago, and they made more than that back then. Seriously. And no, I'm not calling, you know, people like me who do some of these that were waitresses or waiters, but, you know, <laughs> I'm just talking about the tip kind of thing going on. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this is a lot longer than I expected it to be. And I don't have all that much room on my cell phone any anymore. I've been trying. <laughs> anyway, so the, the, at the end of all of this, you know, I have always said that if I would never try to uh, monetize my vi my channels after they got demonetized back in when, 2018 was it uh, that um, in any time I was never really really working hard toward that and it, it doesn't it show <laughs> but yeah that was not my goal I said unless something happened you know and I was I was like you know that I, that I would need to well never ever ever did I ever think that it could be this kind of situation here seriously that i have to prove that i earned a certain amount of money which i'm not going to make that amount of money you know, even if i got all my channels i have several over nine years come on i had different reasons for different pr different purposes some of them were just these you know showing other somebody else how to make an account under one and all that kind of stuff uh but over nine years yeah and i was writing these little stories and then i was doing the rough rough drafts putting them up online and all that so uh but some of them i started doing a new way that i have done i've never seen anybody else do it like that videos never anybody else really so uh started doing of course i got a copycat right copycat somebody copycatting me and right away and then it just seemed like it just screwed it all up but before then i was getting like i said videos were getting or did i say that over like 140,000 140,000 views up to that. I think the highest one has 140,000 whatever uh, amount of views. Many of them were like, you know, from 70,000. You get the picture, right? Okay, I don't know if that last clip made or not, but anyway. Um, so, I do know that this, that one particular not just one particular way that i was doing i'm gonna mention it because i don't need any more copycats and that's how that was how, what happened my first year on youtube really <laughs> and it, pretty much every year since then i think it has been every year since then but anyway uh maybe a few went here and there but anyway um i found out that it was mainly seasonal perhaps that is seasonal, which would make sense, but it's not something that I would naturally think because it, I was brand, I, I made it up. <laughs> you know, there's not another out there to see, and I'm not a copycat, so I don't copycat people. I think of my own stuff, and uh, of course there are opinions, and of course, like I said, there was a copycat, at least one, and uh but anyway, so I'm thinking of taking that, and I did try that, taking that kind of way, of, I'm not going to mention it, doing it a different way, and uh, doing different things with it, and you know, so far that actually did work, but it's seasonal, and I don't know what season those would be seasonal, <laughs> hmm. 
but uh, yeah but I think I'll do you know overall different kinds of videos including you know all these years I've done different types of videos some were just talking like this some were vlogs some were doing shopping but add more shopping videos you know I kind of lost the interest after the first year the you know this despicable people that are copycats they really turned me off to it that first year I mean pretty despicable so I still had a bad taste in my mouth it's so despicable but um anyway all these years later, I mean, I don't think about them, of course, but whenever I'm doing a video like this, it comes in my mind, it's like, ugh, <laughs> disgusting, yeah, disgusting people, but anyway, um, so, on a more cheerful note, yeah, I think I'm here, I'm gonna do some while I'm here, I, like I said, I had done some here and there, but, um, I don't know, I do, do those ones that I, I only, you know, I'm just going to do a variety, including the kind of videos, like I said, I just made up my own way of doing it. So, and of course, you know, there are critics. Like, I want to see yours. <laughs> which you made up with your own mind. Not stealing mine. I want to see yours. With the critics. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> of course, there's trolls. Anyway, okay, I'm going to go in there and do some shopping. I might add some to this, some clips or not. Today, you know, by the way, today is August 30th, and I think it was probably a month or so they already had Halloween out. <laughs> I was like, wow. I don't really go to Dollar Tree that much anymore, uh, but when I do, I'm always surprised. No, I'm not always surprised. I'm lying there. I'm not be lying. But how early they put out everything, and it's not only them either. You know, then I see, then I look, go to other stores, and I say, yep, they're doing it too. <laughs> Just, I mean, kids aren't even through with the back to school st supplies, and they have out Halloween. Seriously, well before kids go back to school. Okay, yeah. Okay, now I'm wrapping up.